Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I am super excited to be here as always because I've got something a little bit different that we're going to do today. So while I am waiting on Facebook to do its thing, let me go over and make sure that you can hear and see me okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share this off with my group and then we are going to get started with story time. I want to do something a little bit different today. Um, and um, bring you guys just a little bit of a story time. So while we're kind of waiting and hanging out for just a second, um, yesterday I celebrated my 35th birthday, you guys. And I have to say that it was, um, it was kind of emotional. <laughs> it was kind of emotional. The, the last time that that happened to me was when I turned 30. So I'm, I'm assuming that probably every five years, I guess for me, I'm going to run into this problem. Uh, but nonetheless, it was, it was great. It was such a low, we celebrated really low key. Um, and for anybody that knows me, I'm just a really low key kind of person. Um, you know, I don't, like things don't really excite me, but it's experiences, right? So whether that's experiencing um, a new recipe or experiencing a new place to travel or something like that, um, that's what that's what you know gets me all excited. So uh, pretty much, I had my husband, or he actually brought home basically um, uh, a tres leches cake, which is one of my favorites, and so uh, we did that. We had leftover tacos from like Monday, um, and it was just really, really nice. So this upcoming weekend, actually, today is my last day uh, here at CST for the week. So I'm actually going to be doing a four day, uh, four day weekend to continue celebrating. And uh, so for Saturday, we are actually going to be. My husband bought us tickets. And we're going to be going to what's called the Kentucky Castle. You guys look it up. If you're ever in the um, Lexington area, you got to go see this. I've never been, but I just hear it's amazing. And it's at, it's an actual real castle, you guys. I don't even know how many square feet that, that it is. But um, the tickets that uh, that he purchased, it comes with like we they're going to tour. We're going to have a tour of the castle. And then after that, there is a um, buffet lunch and it's like farm to table. So I'm just so excited to do that. Um, and just to enjoy, you know, being 35, you know, I think that every, every birthday is a blessing because, you know, I know there's people that I went to school with and, you know, people that I know that just, you know, they didn't get to make it to, um, to, you know, this age. So um, anyway, I'm super excited about that. Let me, um, as I'm sitting here, my computer is just kind of wanting to spin. So let me see if I cannot pull up uh, Facebook on my end so that I can make sure that we are okay. You guys can hear and see me okay. And also this will give it just a few seconds to kind of get everybody in. Um, and also it allowed me to kind of share this out with my group if my, uh, if it will get us in here. So anyway, I hope that you're having a great day. I hope that your week has been productive. I hope that whatever's been going on with your child care business goals and dreams that you have been moving towards that direction. Um, because whatever you're trying to do, whether you already are running your child care business or whether you've been in business for years and you're trying to kind of move it to the next level, if you are not going in that direction in some way, form or fashion, you're just not going to get there, right? Um, so I hope that whatever that you are doing this week, that it's aligning with the goals that you have for your child care business dreams, okay? Um, okay, so at this point, I don't know what's going on over here on my end, but I think that we are okay. Um, I'm just going to assume, and I'll just kind of be checking back and forth just to make sure of that. So Anyway, you guys, for those of you that are new to Child Care Success Tools, um, let me do my official introduction to you. First of all, welcome to Child Care Success Tools. I am so uh, excited that you found me and that you're here. My name is Ashley Benz. I am a child care business strategizer and mindset mentor. Um, I am the founder and creator of Child Care Success Tools, which is the number one online platform for child care business automation. And what qualifies me to do this is that I actually owned operated, ran, and directed a child care business of 10 years. And what I actually did was that um, I have ran a child care business two different ways. I have ran it without automation, which is what we're going to be talking about today. And I've ran it with automation. And um, 
the difference is like night and day, you guys. Totally night and day. So with that being said, that kind of leads us directly into the topic. I'm going to do a restart on my computer, and hopefully that will help me be able to um, get on here to make sure that we're okay, because I don't really want to go through the full video, and then there's issues. So um, as you're joining, as you're coming in, if you can just make sure that you can um, let me know that you can hear and see me okay. So I am uh, going to just, I'm going to let my computer do a restart. And then we'll kind of jump into the day, today's topic. So, uh, but with that being said, today's topic is what my days were like as a child care business owner um, when I ran my child care business without automation. So I thought that it'd be really cool to do like a story time, just really kind of walk you guys through what a day uh, was like for me when I ran my child care business and when I ran it without automation. And um, I just thought that'd be really cool. And I really want to, I want to kind of bring you into like what a day was like. I want to, I want to make this as really vivid. Most of you all are going to really be able to relate to this. Most of you, uh, you all are probably, this is going to sound really familiar. Um, so uh, with that being said, I would like to invite you to share, like, and love this video. Give this video some hearts and some thumbs up. If you're watching this from YouTube, you are actually watching the, um, the, the replay or the recorded version of the Facebook Live. Um, and I would love, or, uh, love to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you are not a subscriber, if you have not subscribed, this is your first time maybe hopping on to one of my videos, be sure that you subscribe, be sure uh, that you hit that subscription button. And also, when you do that, there is going to be a little bitty bell above the video or above the button or whatever, uh, be sure that you click that because it's going to give you notifications of whenever I post up these um, videos. So, okay, you guys, we are getting ready to jump in. Um, let me just, like I said, make sure that we are okay because I don't, I don't want to go through this video and then we have issues. This topic today, I think, is something that um, it's, it's, it's what everybody's dealing with. Okay, it's what everybody's dealing with. It's what I dealt with. And it's it's just it's probably I'm going to say at least 90 to 95 percent of child care business owners are dealing with this. And if you are trying to get started and you are not you don't have a plan to um, to inject child care business automation into your child care program, you will, this, what I'm getting ready to go over with you today, it will be familiar. Now, um, let me just kind of briefly explain what child care business automation is. And I know this is something that I had um, mentioned, that I think, a couple of videos ago. And somebody was like, well, what is that? Like, so, uh, so I guess it might be a good idea to really explain it. So what child care business automation is, it basically is where you have uh, you have things in place, uh, whether you know systems and processes that are either technical um, or they could be people, but you have things in place, right? That that allows your childcare business to rely on automate automation and less of you, right? So let me say that again. You have things in place, okay? That's systems and processes that could be uh, technical. It could be it's step by step processes. It could be people um, that basically allow your child care business to run on automation and and rely have to rely less on you to for it to run. So um, when I started my child care business, you guys, it, I obviously didn't have any child care business automation injected into it. Um, I started off just like everybody else. I started off with passion. You know, my thing is that I love teaching. I love teaching children. Uh, I had previously worked in childcare before and, you know, I just love teaching. That was really what I got into it for. I love teaching. I love, and I still love it. I love doing lesson plans. I love coming up with activities. I love doing crafts, I, especially around this time of the year when, the you know, it's springtime. I love to be able to get the kids, um, you know, to go outside and, and we explore and do different things. So that's what I got into it for. Um, I mean, and that's what most people do. Let me make sure that I'm okay. I'm back up and running here. Let's see. Um, hopefully, I'm not having any. Uh, Coming up with activities. Okay. I, love I think we are. Okay. Uh, especially. 
We are A-OK. -okay. So just give me a second. We're going to continue this conversation. Um, yes, we're having tech issues today, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and share this out with my group so that they know that I'm here. And uh, then we'll get right back, back into um, to the topic for today. So just sit tight. Bear with me just for a second, you guys. Just bear with me here. Having some tech issues today. Um, and for those of you that are watching the replay, you can fast forward if you want to. <laughs> so you have to sit here with me on this part. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, anyway, when it comes back up, we'll get back to it. All right. So let me first kind of t uh, tell you like what a day was like. Okay. So the, the very first thing, you guys, when I would walk into my center is I would immediately get pulled in so many different directions before I could even even have an understanding of what I should be focused on for that day. So, which is the wrong way to do it? Um, because before you actually start your day as a child care business owner, you need to have a focus. There needs to be something that you're focusing on and what those things should be. It should be things that's, that is aligning with your goals to grow the business, not day-to-day -day stuff, right? Those day-to-day -day things are always going to be there. What is your focus? What are you focusing on that's going to allow you to grow your child care business, right? Hi, Carolyn. Um, can you see and hear me okay? I, I think so. I just checked on my end, but I just want to make sure. And so, um, you guys, listen, if you are here, let me know. Uh, I know the last time that I did this uh, Go Live video, for some reason, on because I'm doing this on my phone, it was not like comments and things like that was, was not showing up. Uh, but just um, let me know that you're here. Say hello as you come in and also where you're coming in from. Uh, but, you know, for me, you, you've got to have a focus, you guys. You can't just do not, you can't just get so bogged down on the day-to-day -day stuff, okay? And that's, that's a lot of what's happening. Everybody gets so bogged down on the day-to-day -day stuff, and um, they just don't have a focus. There is no focus, okay? So that's what pretty much what happened to me. Um, hang on, you guys. Join me live. All right, let me post in here. But that's pretty much what happened to me. You know, um, I would enter in and immediately get pulled in so many different directions. It was either a teacher was needing something, a parent needed something, the kids needed something. Whatever it was, they needed me. And, I mean, I literally sometimes didn't even get a chance to even come in and set my things down or anything like that. So... When I finally got to my desk, so when I finally got was able to get to my desk, and obviously for those of you that are running family child care homes, your days are a little bit different. Uh, but still, when you finally get to your desk, when I finally got to my desk, I was basically, uh, you know, I would come to stack of papers. Uh, I was surrounded by, you know, uh, sticky notes on, on my laptop, emails. And so at that point, um, it was just busy work. It was like time to get try to get some busy, the busy work aspect of the business done, right? Um, you know, and then I, I would try to delegate. I would try to delegate these things off to my assistant director. But when I would do that, you know, she's overloaded with things. And so me handing off my workload to her was stressing her out. And it was just, I felt a little bit trapped. You know, I felt like, how can I how can I get all this stuff done, right? Because I don't want to overload her, but at the same time, she is my assistant. Um, and so it was just, it was a mess. It was a mess, right? Okay. So now this is like, let me see, because my center opened up at 7.30, and then by the time I got to my office, it was, I didn't usually get there until 9. Um, so that 30 minutes was me being pulled everywhere, and that is actually that would I would have to say that would kind of have to be after I started injecting a little bit of child care business automation. Uh, but nonetheless, one o'clock in the afternoon, you guys, is when things finally seem to quiet down. So here it is one o'clock. The kids are asleep. You know, teachers are kind of off doing whatever at that time because I didn't have any things in place. And I finally it was quiet and I could think and I could really have that time and really get in the zone for about 10 minutes. <laughs> then the phone rings, or then it was something else, or it was this, it was that. And my concentration, the zone I was in just got broken. And here I am, here I am again,
back into the day-to-day -day things, the stuff that doesn't really grow my business. And so doing purpose-driven work for me was, it just didn't happen. There was no such thing as purpose-driven work. It was all busy work. It was all, it was things that had to get done, but there was no room for me to have purpose-driven work so that I could grow my childcare business. And let me just say this, you guys, um, you know, I've been a business owner for, oh goodness, I guess 12, 13 years now, right? So, and I've owned two businesses. And the one thing that I understand that I have learned about being successful at business, you have to have time to think because up here is where all the growth happens. This is where it starts. And if you don't have time to spend with yourself and you don't have that time to be able to think about what's your next move and where you want to take things at and what's not working and what can we do better? If you don't have that time, your business is not going to grow. Hi, Saina. How are you? It's just not going to grow, you guys. So you've got, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, you have to have that freedom to be able to just think, to just sit down and think about what do I need to do? What's my next move? Okay. Um, you know, Purpose Driven Works allows you to be able to move your childcare business forward, okay? And it allows for you to be able to move it in a direction of growth. So when you think when you think of purpose-driven work, I want you to think of two words, forward and growth, because that's what happens when you're able to do that, okay? So um, when I ran my family, you know, childcare home, I mean, it was the same situation. It was just, it was, it was just a little bit different, but it was the same thing. You know, you 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 run your child care home all day long, and then by the time you get done, or even if it's nap time, you know, it's busy work, and the time that you have to actually think about the growth of your business is just really limited. So I barely even had time, you guys, to go to a doctor's appointment. I barely had time to do anything for myself. Um, you know, it was, I worked 50 plus hours a week, which is absolutely draining. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, and I don't know how you're doing it if this is what you're doing. I literally, like, you know, obviously I am out of that. I don't do that anymore. Um, you know, I don't do that anymore. But I literally have no idea how you do that. I don't even know how I did it, okay? I just had to be the grace of God. But 50 plus hours a week, it's, it's just, it's draining. It is absolutely draining to, to work like that constantly, day in and day out. And then on top of that, to work like that, and then you're not growing your business, right? Now, I could understand if you're working 50 plus hours a week, but let's say that half of those hours you're taking to grow your business. Now, that is to me acceptable because the, you know, what you're doing um, half of those 50 hours a week, let's say 25 hours a week, what you're doing in those 25 hours a week is going to get you out of this cycle, right? But doing 50 plus hours a week and having no time to grow your child care business is absolutely draining. And literally what you were in and what I was in is I was just in nothing but a vicious cycle. Okay. Um, this went on for five years, five years, right? So what is that? Um, 50, I'm going to do, listen, I'm going to do this on a calculator, you guys, because this is interesting to me. What is 50 plus hours a week for five years? Let, let's figure that out. So 50, um, there is 365 days in a year. So we times 50 by 365. That's 18,250 hours. And you times that by five. You guys, that is 91,000 hours over five years just working in the business. 91,000 hours. So in a year, you guys, you guys are pulling in. If, if you guys are doing this, let's do 50 times for, um, so what, in a year you're doing, what did I put there? Yeah, so it's what, 360, I'm sorry, my math is off. Hang on, you guys. 50 times um, 4 is 200 hours a month times that by 12. So 2,400 24, hours 
And if you times that by um, five, 12,000, I'm sorry, 12,000, even, but still, what I just said, the number I just said, the 91,000, well, it feels like that, right? <laughs> it feels like that. But you're talking about 12,000 hours going towards just basically keeping yourself in the same, what you're doing. That's literally what you're, it's 12,000 hours towards doing the same thing, right? Um, Carolyn says that she never has time to think. Yeah. It is what it is, you know, um, as far as what people are dealing with right now. But it doesn't have to be that way, right? It, it doesn't have to be that way. Um, and if this sounds like you, if everything that I've said, just, to, you know, just what we've been talking about, my little story time, me telling you everything, you know, it was, let me just tell you guys, and y'all have heard me say this, you guys, but it was really, I'm just going to be honest with you, it was depressing. It was just plum depressing, right? I mean, here, you know, I was, I created this amazing child care business that really, you know, was, it was, the quality was great. I mean, everything was great about it as far as what I offered and all that good stuff. What was not great is my work-life balance. That's what wasn't great about it. And, you know, over, over 12,000 hours of doing that, you're going to get burnt out. So for those of you that are getting started, I'm just letting you know up front, if you don't set this thing up right, you will, six months, you'll be burnt out, okay? That's why a lot of people don't stay into it because they are burnt out. And then what they do, this is what I don't like about it. This is what I don't like when I meet people that are um, in this situation is that they get numb to it. They literally get numb to it and they sit there and tell themselves that this is just the way that it's supposed to be, right? This is what the other child care, I talked to the other child care owner down the street. She's working 50 plus hours a week. You know, I talk to my friends, you know, when I go to these networks and these trainings, they're working 50 plus hours a week. This is just what it's supposed to be. And that's stupid. Okay. I mean, you know, just bluntly, honestly, I don't know any other way of putting it. That is so stupid that I just like, and that's what I thought. Because after doing this, you guys, 200 hours a month towards day-to-day, 12,000 hours a year towards day-to-day, I said to myself, this is stupid and I am not going to do this. I'm not going to do it this way, right? I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to put myself through this. I'm not going to put my family through this. I'm not going to put even the teachers and the parents through this because if they can't get me, all of me, then I'm not giving my best. And literally, you are not giving your best when you don't have time to sit down and think about the direction of your business. You are not giving your best when you are working 50 plus hours a week and you are literally drained. How can you give your best to these children and families when you're not self-caring for you? I don't get it. And when I saw it this way, I was just like, this is stupid. I'm not going to sit here and do this anymore. No, this is not happening. So I had to make some changes. And for those of you that know me, you know that I'm the kind of person that if I get uncomfortable in a situation, there's either one or two things I'm going to do. I'm going to make get myself comfortable or it's just I'm done with it because I, I, it's. The, for me, it's just non-negotiable. It is non-negotiable for me to be in a situation and I am not comfortable. It's non-negotiable for me to be in a job that I am not comfortable in. It is non-negotiable for me to be running a business that does not make me comfortable. That I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm not going to do it. And you shouldn't be doing it either. You should not be doing it either. Okay? So, um... If you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave them below. But I like, I, I honestly, sometimes I feel like a broken record when I talk about this, but this is just what it is. And I am here to change this in this industry. I am here to change it. Um, you know, I, I know of, a, of an owner I have in mind right now and this owner has literally put their life on hold for a daycare business, okay? This owner um, just, I mean, just put their lives on hold for a daycare business, right? Um, you know, her and her husband, they're wanting to have children. Not happened yet. They, you know, they want to... Um, 
do things together and there's there's a lot of different plans that they have they wanted to build a house and do all these things and you know every time i talk to her it's well you know we're gonna get there it's gonna happen oh i've just got to get this it's been it's i've been knowing yeah i've been knowing this person for years years it's the same stuff this owner is in a vicious cycle and this cycle the reason why the cycle is so vicious is that it 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 will literally um you will literally tell yourself a lie that's what it is you will literally tell yourself a lie that this is what it's supposed to be and the reason why you're thinking this is because everybody else is doing it this way right all the people i talk to they're doing 50 plus hours a week they're they don't have time to think they're this and they're that see this is the problem though this is a problem because the difference between people that actually grow and move forward in life is that they're not doing what everybody else is doing they're not doing it how everybody else is doing okay that's the difference that's the difference so um, myself you know I, I'm not gonna do I don't, I don't have to do what everybody else is doing I don't I don't have to do that okay you guys know I'm a child care business strategizing mindset mentor uh, also known as a child care coach I'm not gonna do what everybody else is doing right because first of all, that's not true to me. Second of all, if it's not working, then I'm not going to do that. You know, we, we all know that, you guys. The, the people that are really successful at anything in life, they are, they're doing something different, right? They're not, they're not taking the road that everybody else is traveling. They're taking the what? The less traveled road. They're going down a place that a lot of people don't want to go down, Right? That's what's happening. Hi, Aisha. You know, I thought about you the other day. How is things going? I hope everything's going good with you. Um, but they're doing what everybody else is doing, you guys. And let me just say this. If, it, if that's working, great. But nine times out of ten, what everybody else is doing is it's not working. Right? Which is why you find yourself in this vicious cycle. And that's, that's what's so vicious about it is that it will literally, you will believe a lie. And that's what's happening with most of you all that are going to be watching this video, that are joining me right now. You have told yourself a lie, and this is a lie that you've been telling yourself. Well, if I keep just moving, if I keep pushing, if I keep doing it this way, it's just going to happen for you. I'm going to work myself out of this. It's going to be great. It's going to be this and that. Uh, you know, I, this it just lies, 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 and more lies to yourself. Okay? So, as I close out this video, um, and I close out my week, because I'm going to be taking a four-day uh, week. And this is what you guys, I know I was talking to uh, someone in my program, in my coaching program. And because, uh, you know, whenever I'm getting ready to take off or whatever, I let them know, let everybody know in my group that, you know, hey, you guys, it's the last day you guys going to get me until whatever. I'm going off the grid. I'm going to be incognito. You're not going to be able to find me. And, um, you know, she was like... Um, she said that, you know, it's such an inspiration. This is what I want to do. And you guys can do this too. You know, I get to choose when I want to work, right? I get to choose when I want to work. Fridays for me are optional. Um, the, last, the last week of the month for me is optional. Technically, I usually take off, uh, but we're in launch mode. So I had to work yesterday, Monday, Tuesday, today, and I'm going to be taking off Thursday and Friday. But you get to choose, you guys. This is your choice. And I want you to believe that. Everything that you're doing in your child care business right now is because you choose to do it this way. You choose to work 50 plus hours a week. You choose to get up every morning and be drained because you have not had time to self-care. You choose that. That is a choice, you guys. It is a choice. Why is it a choice? Because you're the business owner. This business that you have created is a blank. Every day that you get up, it is, it is a blank canvas. So how come you can't paint the picture the way you want it to be? Why are you painting the picture like everybody else's picture is painted? Like all the other child care owners and the family child care home providers. Why are you painting the same picture? This is the problem. You're not choosing what you want to do. You're not making the choice. You are allowing what the norm is to choose for you. Right? Um, 
Let's see. Aisha says, it is I'm in school for my staff and directors. Okay, so she's going to school, and then when is the next phone call? Yeah, Aisha, um, if you go into the group, uh, I actually, there is a Facebook Live that I did in there, and if you go in there, I mentioned that. Also, um, there is something else that's in there, too. Go in the group and look at that. Also, be sure to check your email, um, and um, you'll get that information, okay? So, okay, you guys. Here's your takeaway. This is your takeaway as I head off for my four-day weekend to finish out celebrating my um, 35th birthday. I can't believe that. It's so strange for me to say I'm 35, and in five years, I'll be 40. can't believe that. Anyway, <laughs> your takeaway, running your child care business without full automation is the hard way, not the smart way. There's two different ways you can do this. You can do it the hard way, or you can do it the smart way. Okay, you can continue to stay in the vicious cycle or you can decide and make a choice that you want to get out of it. Okay, and you want to fully inject child care business automation into your child care program. Okay, now what I need for you to understand is that you're not alone in doing this. I am ready to support you with this, you guys. If this resonates with you, if my story time today uh, sounds very familiar to your to what's going on in your situation, I am ready to support you in my Build Your Child Care Business Empire of Freedom Live Virtual Mastermind Coaching Program, all right? Um, you will gain 12 months of private access to me where I'm going to walk you through this whole process because it, it is a process. This Now, let me just tell you something. When I did automation, um, it took a couple of years, all right? But I can help you do this within 12 months or less, okay, depending on how fast move, but normally 12 months is, is the, is the uh, amount of time that you really want to take to be able to do this and get it done right. Um, enrollment is happening right now, you guys, okay, for this program. There was limited spots. You guys, it's only one of me. I can only work with so many people. So if you're interested, you want to know more about the program, um, what, what I'm doing to be able to uh, answer your questions is just you can book your complimentary call with me today. Uh, my calendar obviously will be closed for the rest of the week, but there should be room on there as we go on into May. You guys, I'm, my calendar is booked, so um, I think the last time I looked at it, maybe May, the third week of May, it, it, it's opened up a little bit more. But book your complimentary call with me today, you guys. I will answer all your questions about the program. I will um, go over a cust your customized a uh, twelve-month plan, what that looks like with um, you know injecting automation for your child care business because everybody's situation is unique and different. If you're getting started, this is perfect because you want to start your program with child care business automation, not without like I did. Okay, um, and let's see what else. A uh, lot of stuff is included in this program, you guys. So a lot of you get tech support, you get done for you services that are included. We'll do some things for you as far as injecting this child care business automation into your child care business. This is, there's no coaching program out there that's doing this. So enrollment is happening right now, you guys. If this is something that you are interested in, you just want to know more about it, um, and you're ready to work, let me just make that clear too. Because I just don't want anybody hopping on my calendar. Okay, because I, I, I don't, you guys know, I am, I don't have time for that. Just be blunt and honest. I don't have time for just somebody hopping on my calendar and, you know, you're not ready to work. Okay, you're looking for, you know, a quick fix. Nope, not going to happen here. I do not have quick fixes. Okay, this is stuff, this is work. You're going to have to pull up your sleeves and get busy. Okay, um, if you're in the research phase and all that good stuff. Do not book a call with me. You're not ready. Uh, if you want to know more about child care business automation, I will leave the link to that below. Uh, you can go on my website. I've got a free download if you're just trying, if you're researching, okay? This call is not for those that's researching. It's not for those that are not ready to work, okay? And this is something, the call is not for you if you don't want this to happen in the next 12 months. So if you're kind of looking and you're, oh, well, you know, maybe in three years, not for you, okay? Listen, you guys. For those that I work with in the program, we get busy. We get busy right away. We, it's got a, we've got a 12-month plan. we got to get with it, get busy, get it done, and 
get out of the vicious cycle. All right. So um, with that being said, you guys, also, if you are not a part of my free private Facebook group community, you need to join that community. Um, just a lot of stuff goes on in there. A lot of different things. I try to switch it up, make it, you know, make it fun. We just do whatever. OK, so be sure that you join us over in that. Um, I'm going to leave the link below this video. Once I get done, I'll leave the link below so that you can book your complimentary call with me. Um, and, you know, I can go over with you and answer, get all your questions answered. So, you guys, listen, I want you to make the choice, okay? Because remember, this is all you. This is your business. You created it. You can choose to stay in a vicious cycle or you can choose to get out of it. And I'm here to support you with getting out of the cycle. What I'm not going to do is help you continue to be in it, okay? So, you guys, listen, um, I am going to head off and... Uh, finished celebrating my 35th birthday um, with my four-day weekend. Uh, I'm super excited. The weather is like it's been raining to you, and the weather is going to start clearing up for the weekend. So I'm just excited. And with that being said, you guys, I am going to be sending you my prayers of encouragement and success your way. I'm here to support you. You've got the tools that you need. You've got the people that you need. Me and my team are ready. We are here. All right. So enrollment is now happening Book your complimentary call. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, choose, you guys, I cannot stress this enough, choose to get out of this vicious cycle, okay? If this resonated with you and my story time today um, is familiar with you. All right, so with that being said, you guys, have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next one. And as always, I am sending you my prayers of encouragement, success your way. All right, talk to you in the next one.